The black metal riff, something that's become very recognizable with an extreme metal, with tremolo pick guitars that has distortion and reverb that really enhances its atmosphere. It's just become something very iconic within music itself. But if you've ever wondered where this started, who was the first musician to really bring this style of playing as like a template within black metal, here on the internet there's like jokes that surf rock was the real influence for it, as it's kind of played similar, it's just it has no distortion attached with it. But jokes aside, the individual who's kind of like named as one of the big pioneers for it is Euronymous, the original guitarist for Mayhem. While others argue, and I would even agree with most of these people, that the true mastermind behind this guitar playing style for black metal that really pioneered it is Snorro Rook, who used to be in Mayhem for a handful of years, but he's the mastermind behind the black metal band Thorns. And if you don't believe me on it, take Fenris's word for it. It was sort of, it sort of derived from Bathory, but it was a new way of playing a riff that was, uh, had really not been done and not been stylized by anyone before. That's what Snorri and um, Jonas did, and uh, to my knowledge they did this in 89. Well, you have a chord and you have fuss, but you sort of, you don't play one and one, you play one and one up and down, and you have the notes cling together so that it, you have the fucking eerie notes and they all stream together, creating a f this incredible <coughs> eerie sound. While Fenris stated that both Euronymous and Snora are the pioneers of that black metal riff styling, I feel like there's more evidence that suggests that Snora is the real mastermind and the real creative genius behind the black metal riff. About a year ago, Snora did an interview for the Thomas Erickson podcast. Which, by the way, Thomas Erickson is the mastermind behind the Norwegian black metal project called Mork, and that's the music playing right now in the background. But in this interview, Snorr describes exactly what was his technique for creating the black metal riff. And just like the clip I showed earlier of Fenris, he echoes the same description, basically. <laughs> uh, so, uh, so, uh, so, oh, a chord! We used one finger and two fingers, yeah, yeah mm. but no more fingers are used. <laughs> Yeah. to play more strings at once mm -hmm. uh, and uh, we learned this thing called uh, a chord yes. um, and also um, uh, the first chord we learned was the um, A minor uh, transposed around on the neck Yes. Uh, and then That's we it. learned uh, E minor mm. and we stopped there <laughs> <laughs> but again if you're wondering where this influence comes from where was the style of this black metal riff really originated from? Where did he get the ideas for the patterns to create this sound? Again, in this interview, it's quite interesting that it doesn't really stem from metal, but more from classical music. But how did you come up with the riff for uh, that track that would become Edith the Sense? Uh, yeah. Uh, that was... Uh, inspired by uh, some uh, orchestral music by Tchaikovsky, Romeo and Juliet. Uh, mm -hmm. Romeo and Juliet. Yeah. Uh, it's like. Is that one? Yeah. While he stated that it's the Romeo and Juliet theme done by Tchaikovsky. As someone pointed out within the comments of that podcast, it might have been the Romeo and Juliet theme done by Prokovic. And when you compare the rhythms between the Romeo and Juliet theme done by Prokovic and some of the guitar riffs that you would hear within the first Thorns demo, that being Grimmark, there's some similarities in terms of rhythm between the two. What's really interesting about this demo is that for the people who do know of it, they consistently classify it as being like the birthplace for the black metal riff that has no percussions, no vocals, and it's just guitars and bass being played throughout its 26 minute runtime. What's also interesting is the opening track on this demo is called Lovely Children, 
which is actually a re-recording of the song Into the Promised Land, done originally by Stigma Diabolicum. Now, Stigma Diabolicum is the first band that Snora was a part of before starting Thorns. So again, it's a re-recording and a more fleshed out version of that song. And some of the riffs utilized within that track were used on the song From the Dark Past that's on Mayhem's Demon Series Dom Satanus. And as you progress within this demo towards the end portion of it, you're going to notice that a lot of riffs sound eerily similar to the riffs you would hear again throughout Demon Series Dom Satanus. While there are numerous musicians out there that helped contribute and mold the sound we know and love today within black metal, I still do feel like Snora got kind of swept under the rug with the amount of credit and recognition that's due for this individual. But that's just my two cents with this whole topic. Really curious to know, like always, what you guys think of it. And yeah, that'll do it for this video, like always, I will leave links provided to everything I talked about in the description below. Make sure you guys drink plenty of water to stay hydrated, and like always, have a great day.